Hawks here in Aggieland. Texas A&M with an early 11-8 lead over number six Tennessee. They're looking for their second top six win here at home this season. Tom Hart alongside Jimmy Dykes. This will be a battle of the backcourts. The A&M has made four buckets. Three of them have come from behind the arc, including two from Wade Taylor, the fourth. Tom, it's about 23 in white and four in white offensively for the Aggies. They are downhill driving dudes. And that's what Taylor does. Tommy Radford, and he's able to get it off the glass. Bring a little bit more energy for him. Coleman cut off. Here's Solomon Washington. Shot clock is at six. AM is 320th in the country in Temple. They don't mind running clock, wow. especially when Wade Taylor can do that. And again, that is a problem when the three ball starts falling for this kid. You got to come up after him. Man, now does he become a lethal driver. Dump inside for Tobey Alwaka, and he scores and will go to the line. From Texas A&M only making so far tonight. The problem in that game, although Tennessee won, LSU out-rebounded them. Yeah, that LSU team got 18 offensive rebounds and turned it into 20 points. Aggies, though, keeping pace from an efficiency standpoint here early on. Radford, the line, the finish by Coleman. That downhill action, man. Here's Ziegler now. To connect for three. And he's fouled. He told me before the game his favorite board game was indeed connect four. He said, I played with my dad all the time, and now I have a chance for that four-point play. Well, he's getting ready to have an opportunity anytime. Anytime you can reverse the ball from one, one third of the floor to the other third of the floor in transition, you're going to get good looks, man. Connect so good at running that high slot. Look at Ziegler, such a smart point guard, knowing the entire time, I'm going to reverse this ball off of one bounce and a sharp pass. A big physical shooter. 6'8", 213, couple of freshmen at the top of most NBA. Basicki gets cut off. That is the first four-point play for Tennessee in over a year. Basicki got it. Who is his Aggie team? To go to work. Shot clock winding down. Garcia offensive rebound. Second in the country in that stat. Basicki down the lane and took a hard foul from Jonas Avi. Tom Texas A. We've got an ACC Big 12 Big Monday. On a two from the line for Obasi. How about the half-court Shodman type kid? They call him the Dominican Rodman. Yeah. Shot clock at three now. Radford spins on Ziegler. And got it to roll home. Just, just you know what? Too big and too physical right now. And that's that's a mouthful because the Kai Zick. James had a career high 26 a week ago tonight at Kentucky. It was a magnificent, well-balanced performance by Tennessee. Ganey gambles. Here's Taylor for three. Got it! And they are now at their average in SEC play. Wade Taylor got cheat up. Backing down on sportsmanship throughout college basketball. It is attention. Say words with an earshot of that official. Now watch the reaction from Taylor after the make. Right there, pointing and at Ganey, right, and mouthing him. And the official is right on top of Differentiator. Vescovy with his offhand, no. AM protects the rim better than anybody in this league without size. Taylor with the shake. Come and he's now. making. Come on now. For made threes. Ziegler lost it. Vescovy gets it back. Got it. Yeah, good job of shrinking the defense. A shrink three by Tennessee. Got the. Both teams kind of felt each other out up to the first TV timeout with the Aggies getting up to a good start. Now they're up to a red hot start. Tom, you come in if you're Tennessee thinking we can short close out. The Aggies, scrap that. Connect wouldn't mind a shootout. He is the answer in Texas A&M. You have got to be in his airspace when he catches it. He's 6'6 and can make guarded threes as well as anyone at the college level. 
Solomon Washington has it blocked. Garcia puts it back in. I'm telling you, this guy's got a nose for the ball at 6'7", and he's rugged. And he's tied for second in the country for offensive rebounds per game with Zach Eady, who is 7'5". James, ball fake, off-balance jumper. Having to make guarded shots. It's like trying to get around a double park duel. <laughs> You see a lot of those? Well, that was the issue with the Fuego driver after shoot around today. It's okay, I'm over it. Bradford downhill, off the window. He is a driving demon. Again, half of his shots on the year are the layup tight. James right into that defender. Adu throws it up and in. Big fella going down at 6'11, 240. Yeah. Having a hard time keeping pace with the Aggies. Ziegler lets it fly from deep. Long rebound to Taylor. He's got Radford. Dumps it off to his body and a finish. That is the one time you can expose a small point guard. When he's the first guy back in transition defense, just not, just not the type of size you got to have at the rim, you know, with Ziegler at 5'9". Taylor with the reach, and that's his second personal. It's a 13 point game. Controlled by two guys. And they both wear Aggie uniform. Tennessee's inability to choke off the strength of this but extreme heat on the ball because of the three-point shot. Tennessee is middle of the pack of the SEC in rim protection, especially as measured by blocks, less than five blocks per game. Obasiki in the paint, and he's able to bank it in. What is Buzz Williams doing? He's turning this thing into a one-on-one. -on -one. Minutes, by the way. They will use all the clock they can. Bradford downhill, and it gets fouled by Adu. Just a very simple, clean offensive play call by Buzz Williams. All he's doing is keeping the ball. Back-to-back 20-point -back games for Radford. Think about this kid's shot distribution on the line. Boots Radford, 231 heavy with shots at the rim. The see trying to up the tempo. will count that one. And it will be reviewed to confirm that it was goaltender. They released. You're Buzz Williams. You certainly take this with enough time to give your offensive glass into play. This is a stack play. The muscle call by Buzz Williams is a stack play here. Again, it's all designed to get a guard downhill to close out the half. Here's Taylor. Contested three. Kind of figured that would go. Ziegler glanced at the clock and can't finish it. Just Halftime lead against a top 10 opponent in the last 15 seasons for AM. And one bookkeeping note, they may have gone away with the score being 42-30. They took off the Ziegler layup on what was originally called goaltending. They reviewed it and reversed the call. Connect foul on his way in by Jace Carter. Connect is 40 minutes. Next set, Ole Miss. It's on the SEC Network and is always available on percent on all other shots. That's on the season. And that's what they do. Garcia with a tip out. Taylor. And his result is a three from the corner. That sums up the Aggies. And especially inside the floor where they are at their best offensively. Here's Bradford downhill. A blocking, char blocking foul charge to... Santiago Vescovi, second on Vescovi. An unselfish offensive rebounder. Part of that is the style of the tap back, throwing it out to get it back into the hands of guys like Taylor and Radford. Buzzwell. Taylor deep. Tracked down by Solomon Washington. They, the Aggies, are in flight as Wade Taylor starts to get into his shot attempt. They don't wait for the ball to be released. Wade Taylor, the fourth preseason player of the year, making a case tonight that he deserves to win that honor at the end of the year. We have a kind of season that gets a banner and a jersey up there next to AC. Speaking of Gary Blair, I saw him before the ball game. He's 78 years old and shot a 78 in golf last week. I'm thinking, how old do I have to live before I can shoot my age? He probably did it wearing suede spikes. And now they'll bleed some clock. Wade Taylor can turn the corner in this league as well as any guard 
that we have in the SEC. Boots Radford for three. How about the shooting of the Aggies tonight? Boots Radford comes in in conference play, 11 out of 39, 28%, and seeing a big rim tonight. Jace Carter commits his third. Bigler, junior from Long Island. And this kid has made a ton of sacrifices throughout his life. Develop his leg strength. I see you took the elevator. <laughs> Every day, Ziegler to Ganey. Nice finish. Tennessee when the ball's on the glass. He's done it to everybody. And a foul committed by Josiah Jordan James. Anderson Garcia leading the SEC in re Make a, a jump shot if you go under. He can get downhill and turn the corner. In the country, Auburn was able to hold him to eight points in a game in Neville. Or is it straight man? But Buzz Williams has just trusted his guys to guard up. Here's Radford. Now the pipe. Just how many? Guarded by James. Ziegler the reach in. Ball got loose. And Tennessee comes out of there with it. Connect all the way downhill. Today, Alabama beat LSU 109-92. There's two leagues in college basketball, and one's not better than the other. But the Big 12's not better gap. And that the Big 12, they just didn't schedule, I think, like years past. And they could cost them a little bit, but they could have they could have also done that by design, by the way. That slowed down. The Big 12 this season with the non-conference strength of the SEC. Yeah, well, Arizona's not not in there yet. But oh, sorry, I was a year ahead. Yeah, you're a year ahead, but I mean, I, I, I'm a big believer in all eight of those teams right now. I just packed 12 action tonight. By the way, the SEC has three teams among the nation's top 10 in points per game. Kentucky, Alabama, and Florida. And Florida didn't run into much trouble they go to, to uh, Kentucky on Tuesday. The, the more I watch Anderson Garcia, the more I think he might be my favorite guy to watch in this league. Because there's nothing cool about his game. There's, there's nothing that says, hey, watch me, unless you really love ball and appreciate the hard parts of ball. It doesn't start. It only started toying around with basketball once he became a teenager. Buzz goes to that high, flat butt screen every now and then. And what it does, yeah, absolutely. What it does, it will get that downhill guy going because he's already faced the batter today. This high, flat, big coming at the rim. Tennessee only four for 12 this half. Dump inside. And Tobey Walker with the bucket. And is he is he good tonight to bring back in? Tennessee has had a couple of games this season where they had large halftime deficits and battled back to make it interesting. One that you're at in Chapel Hill. And now Radford going back to the line for a chance at a three-point play. A rugged rebounder, 6-3 and under in college ball. Where Texas A&M has had a ton of zero or one pass possessions in this game. Therefore, the turnover numbers are low. Just keep it in those guards' hands. Seventy thousand students vote on it, and five get. So before the game, <laughs> one of the guys got some dirt on that white uni. Carter! Oh, wow! Damn! He'll hang around for the finish. What a moment! Hello, Mr. Carter. That's over Tobey Awaka, who is the most physical guy that Tennessee has. He gets knocked out just a little bit, but wow. The explosiveness. Couldn't make it a three-point play, but Levesque will now turn it over to Ziegler. Reverses and got fouled. And they're going to count it as a goaltend as well. That'll give him a chance to look at it. Thank you.
Man, the explosive athletes that Buzz Williams has. I'm telling you, he will find his way onto an NBA roster as a specialist. Have you ever been to the body farm in Knoxville? You know what that is? No. It, it's a federal piece of land as Ray Taylor connects. Right there over on the bluffs right across the river. Okay. Where they study decomposing bodies the federal authorities, FBI, to use it uh -huh. in criminal investigation. Like CSI. Yeah. The, making a pass to an open teammate. It's been such an unselfish team, and they are an unselfish team, but they have just ran into a buzzsaw tonight. That's the explosiveness and that buzz, no doubt, that that book has grown, but he, things have not gone his way tonight. And he turned his ankle late. Second best performance by an opposing player. Lear, 16 point game here. Gainey. Follow tip. That's Meshack. It feels like Tennessee still has a pulse right That bear hug the ball is how Tennessee teaches to guard the ball. Ziegler finds the ball on the open floor. Takes it right at Taylor oh, and wow. kisses it high off the window. That's the kind of stuff you learn. To see with a 92 run over the last two minutes. Volunteers need another stop. Carter for three. No, oh, not at all. Here's Ziegler for three. Tennessee still fighting. And a quick timeout taken. And it's Garcia who squeezes the rebound. Garcia able to get through traffic. Tennessee is playing harassing defense right now. And that will result in a foul on Tobey Awaka that night. I mean, these are two NCAA finish with 31. He ended up with 10 points in roughly the last minute in the first half. Aggies had a tight one with Missouri in the midweek. At least at one point, it was a five-point game. It was tougher than an old pair of work boots. Yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, number three, uh, number 23, excuse me, Texas Tech. Both games of the game, he said, hey, if I, if I could play the wing position, I might average 18 rebounds. <laughs> I'm an undersized guy at six, seven inside. Uh, you're, you're doing pretty well for an undersized guy. Percent from the stripe. His season average has dipped just a little bit this year. This ends, and that he's going up against one of the best defenders, not only in the SEC but in college basketball with similar size. Just a, another reason why Dalton Connect came to Tennessee. Got it. They put it in his hands to bring it up the floor. Use that shot clock. Here's Connect. And he grew up in a highly competitive household, whether it was basketball or board games, card games at the family table. Yep. He's got back-to-back -back threes, and he's trying to shoot Tennessee back into this. And that time, Jeff fouls. And you have got to secure the rebound if you're Tennessee on this possession. If there's a miss, it is a must. Connect got... All right, thanks, gentlemen. Talk about a great home court advantage, a low roof. You got Snake greeting the team bus outside. Here's Radford downhill. He got a bump and a foul. We got a problem. <laughs> hey, Rat first class, he knows exactly that. Radford's got 27. What a night. Taylor's got 25. Connected made his last couple of threes, and Mayshek is able to clean it up. When we started the game talking about a massive opportunity for Texas A&M. Oh out. my! Watch out. Bring it down! <laughs> They're Rowdy and Reed tonight. And for good reason. I mentioned Florida earlier. Not at the top of the standings. In the You're not going to beat the Aggies when they shoot the ball that well. I guess the question for AM is can they replicate this shooting performance? Another lob. Less fancy, but it still counts. And a foul.
foul after the Meshack putback. Well, the other thing that the Aggies have done. He didn't have to change his outfit tonight, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. I want to watch that one. They go to Rocky Top. Saturday the 24th. I'm told that you're actually I, I will watch that one. I will watch that one. <laughs> Your coach and sports the hand sanitizer on everybody. So that's their go juice. But and I said, hold on a second. You're wearing the opposing team colors. He's been doing it forever in front of them. And Jimmy, was that a brand new Astros hat? That was they, those those just dropped this week. I didn't know you were a hat guy. Some people are shoe guys. You're a hat guy. <laughs> He's Buzz Williams is all that. He's better than you. Don't say, oh, of course we beat you. You're not any good. You're not any good. They never wrote me. They never watched me play. They never they never called me. They never checked on my grades. And I, I just moved on at that point. <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to make tough decisions, right? Well, I didn't date Cindy Crawford. <laughs> and Tom, I, to, I, I just want to ask you about Tennessee real yeah. quick. Late January, early February, but the schedule has been ridiculous. The depth in the SEC, I've said it all year long, they're going to end up with nine teams out of the NCAA tournament. Could be ten, could drop to eight. But it's a, it's a league that's going to have you... Garcia is tied his career high with nine offensive rebounds. Tennessee has 12 offensive boards as a team. A top 20 non-strength non-conference strength to schedule for the Aggies. Five quad one wins. When you get their 15th win overall, this they, to me they will safely be in that NCAA tournament unless they just bottom out going forward. Jerry Jones had that. I do not connect. And Rick Barnes is going to use a timeout. Williams react to tonight. Barnes says, call off the dogs. And we'll get you the boulder in just eight seconds or so. 85 69 will be the final score. An impressive performance on both ends for Texas AM. And a handshake between the coaches. Aggies go to 15 and 8. They add a quad one win to their resume. And Tennessee will try to pick up the pieces next time out.